Okay, I'm going to try to do a repair on this drain pipe. It's a galvanized pipe, I think, and I've already had to remove part of this joist that it went through because um, it was leaking in that spot where it was cut through the drain. That's the back side of it there. This is a kitchen sink drain. Now, what I'm going to try to repair this with is... Um, this JB Weld Fiber Weld products. Um, it says it's good for pipes up to two inches in diameter, which is um, this is like one and a half inches in diameter. It should be okay uh, if there's enough material. Okay, so I have already dried it out and I sanded it down a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to apply the two-part epoxy. Then I will try applying the fiberglass. Uh, and I'll use paws. First I'm going to cut this open and I'll try applying this using the paws and we'll see how that goes. I'll hit pause. Okay well I started applying uh, the epoxy, not completely. Um, I actually made a mistake on my first pass. I started mixing this stuff up and I, I, it started hardening really quick, quicker than I thought. As I was applying it I realized it was just getting too hard. So I pulled it off. I, I actually had some other material, which looks almost identical, and it's listed as Rector Seal. I had it had about three times as much, or four times as much, in the tube, and I needed. I'm going to need probably all of it. The problem was I had to work over too large an area. I spent too much time trying to thin it out, and then it hardened up. I don't know why. This is not hardening up as quickly, and I'm breaking it off in small sections. So I can do a small section and then work on to the next section and kind of overlap it. And um, that's what I'm doing right here. And um, I, I probably have two more sections to go. Okay, I'll have pause again. Okay, I, I finished applying the two-part epoxy uh, over I almost covered the entire length of the pipe. Uh, I covered it with almost a hole, obviously, but I did try to also cover areas that were just corroded, but not with a hole yet. Now I'm gonna have to try to apply the um, fiberglass tape. This, um, I might have to cut into smaller lengths because it's still gonna be difficult to wrap it because uh, I have an obstruction with the ceiling or the floor, the ceiling of the basement. I might have to cut it into smaller pieces and wrap it in sections, but I'm just gonna, you know, do the best I can. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, so we'll see. I'll hit pause. <laughs> okay, I got the wrap on. I started on this end, since that's where most of the problem was, so that by the time I got to that end, the amount uh, in the roll would be less, so it would be easier to pass through. And I, I unwrapped a certain amount in advance so that what I would pass through in the roll would be enough to slide through there. And the way it was wadded up in the pack was nice because it wasn't rolled like a circle. It was oblong, if you remember, and that helped pass it through. It turns out it was, I overlapped it about 50%. And it was just enough to get to the end. Um, I would have liked to have had a little bit more on the end, but I think it covered all of the parts which actually were leaking. I'm going to tighten it up. I did use the gloves. It's extremely sticky. But you, there's nothing, no replacement for the hand in getting this thing on smoothly. I'll just have to wash my hands, try to get the goo off. I think it's going to be successful. So anyway, that's it for this. Thanks.